Dear reader, Previously, we have developed a suicide gene therapy for cancer mediated by mesenchymal stem cells. We introduced a fused yeast cytosine deaminase phosphoribosyl transferase gene into human mesenchymal stem cells isolated from various human tissue origin, like adipose tissue, bone marrow, dental pulp or umbilical cord by a retrovirus infection. We call these cells therapeutic stem cells because they are able to change the non-toxic 5-fluorocytosine into an efficient cytotoxic drug 5-fluorouracil on the site of tumor, thus avoiding systemic toxicity. We found that these cells are releasing exosomes possessing mRNA of suicide gene in their cargo, and therefore, when they internalize tumor cells, and they like to do that, they kill tumor cells in the presence of a prodrug 5-fluorocytosine. In this article, we would like to show you how exosomes from human mesenchymal stem cells or from therapeutic stem cells incorporate iron oxide nanoparticles into their cargo, target human tumor cells, and internalize them. When we expose these tumor cells to alternating magnetic field, magnetic nanoparticles inside tumor cells move intensively, forming heat. Consequently, the cancer cells are damaged to death by hyperthermia. In a set of schematic pictures, you can see steps how we prepare such cells, how we prepare the therapeutic stem cells, how we label them with iron oxide particles using a clinically approved drug called venofer. You can learn how we proved that medium conditioned with venofer labeled therapeutic cells <clears throat> containing exosomes with iron oxide in their cargo. Finally, you can follow outcomes of experiments with human tumor cells and cells of primary brain tumor cells treated with iron oxide containing exosomes and exposed to alternating magnetic field. Most of these tumor cells are intercellularly damaged by hyperthermia. They stop dividing and die. It is worth mentioning that magnetic hyperthermia of tumors using tumor targeting nanoparticles is an innovative way of tumor therapy with minimal invasiveness. In conclusion, we believe for innovative cancer therapy to be curative, it must differ from standard therapies which just alleviate symptoms of the disease. The novel cancer therapy has to be targeted not only to tumor, but specifically to tumor cells, and the therapy has to act intracellularly. The exosomes of mesenchymal stem cells modified with iron oxide nanoparticles and or possessing expressible suicide gene in the cargo fulfill these requirements.